హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అమూల్యాస్ అకాడమీ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ ది ప్రీవియస్ ట్యూటోరియల్ వీ రోట్ అ పైథన్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ టు చెక్ వెదర్ ది గివన్ డిరెక్టెడ్ గ్రాఫ్ ఈజ్ అ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ కనెక్టెడ్ గ్రాఫ్ ఆర్ అ వీక్లీ కనెక్టెడ్ గ్రాఫ్ టుడే ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దట్ కోడ్ విత్ ద ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ సో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ ది వర్కింగ్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ కోడ్ హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ అవర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ యాడ్ నోడ్ యాడ్ ఎడ్జ్ అండ్ డిఎఫ్ఎస్ ఈజ్ అ ఫంక్షన్ ది ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ది ప్రోగ్రామ్ బిగిన్స్ హియర్ క్రియేట్ అ ఎమ్ టీ విజిటెడ్ సెట్ just like this then we have another set visited one so this so create another set and two graphs first create graph and next create graph one all right next line of code is add node a we are calling add node function here so here we have add node function first it will check whether that node is in graph if it is already present then no need to add that node otherwise graph of v equal to empty list here so the first node is a and empty list next line is we need to add that node to graph 1 also so like this next we have add node b so here add node b to graph as well as graph 1 next add node c right next of course add node d and here also same we are done with the add node function right next here we can see this is a comment then add edge a to b so we are calling add edge function first it will check whether both the nodes are present in the graph or not next graph of v1 dot append v2 first here we took a to b add edge a to b so here v1 is a v2 is b so add graph of a dot append b so add b here right and graph of v1 v2 dot append v1 so here we need to add a so here v1 is a v2 is b so here you can see right next b to c so add c here and in the graph you need to add b here of course next c to d add d here here you need to add c so we are done with add edge function then print graph and graph 1 if i execute the program now here you can see this is graph this is graph 1 dfs a visited graph we are calling dfs function starting node is a on graph so here the our graph is actually this one actually this graph okay so what dfs will do starting node is a so it will visit that then it will visit b then it will visit c then it will visit d right we know how dfs function works in the visited set after completing this function call we'll get a b c d right next is for i in list of graph list of graph is we'll get nodes in the list form of graph then we'll get a list like this a b c d will get like this for i in list of graph so initially i value will be a it will check if a is not in visited no actually it is present so it will check for the next node b b not in visited no it is there c not in visited no it is there d not in visited it is there right so it won't execute this if body so this loop is not stopped by the break statement so it will execute else part so it will call another dfs dfs a visited one graph one so now graph one graph one is nothing but this graph actually we can represent that graph like this we are calling dfs on this graph now starting node is a so it will visit that then we need to visit one of the unvisited adjacent node of a there are none here also you can see the value of a is empty list right so we don't have any adjacent node to visit so it won't visit any other nodes so in the visited one we'll get only a next it will check if visited is equal to equal to visited one no it is not right both are not equal so it will print this message that is weakly connected graph now if i execute this graph weakly connected graph as the output okay this is how this program works if i take another example here let me take a connected graph and 
I'll comment this. So now if I execute this graph and it is a strongly connected graph, we'll get output like this. Let's see how this works. So first visited is a set empty set, empty set. Next, next create graph, empty dictionary, graph one, empty dictionary. Then we need to add node A, B, C, D. So it will add node to both graph, graph and graph one. Then add edge function. Okay, we'll get graph and graph one like this. Then we'll call DFS function. All right, starting node is A. We are calling this uh, DFS function on A. So A, it will visit A. Then it will visit one of the unvisited adjacent node of A, that is B. So it will visit that. Then it will visit one of the unvisited adjacent node of B. Either you can choose D or C. So it will visit D. Then it will visit one of unvisited adjacent node of D, that is C. So it will visit all the nodes, right? So in the visited set, we'll get all the nodes like this a b c d next here using for loop we'll check whether all the nodes of the graph is present in visited set all the nodes are present so it won't execute this if body this for loop is not stopped by the break statement so it will execute else part and here dfs a visited graph one so it will call dfs on graph one so this is graph one actually so a will be the starting node it will visit a then it will visit one of its unvisited adjacent node that is C. So it will visit that. Then it will visit one of the unvisited adjacent node of C. You can choose B or D. Okay, it will visit B. Then here there are any unvisited adjacent node of B. Actually here it is not. So it will take one step back and it will visit one of the unvisited adjacent node of C that is D. In this way it will uh, visit all the nodes. So here in the visited one also we'll get a b c d maybe the order will differ if i print here so first will be visited then comma then i'll take visited one okay here you can see this is visited this is visited one so here next it will check after executing this dfs call it will check whether visited and visited one are equal yes it is that's why it will print this message strongly connected graph okay if i take previous example that is this example this is actually representation of this graph here if i choose starting node as b or d okay i'll choose d and if i execute this it will print weakly connected graph okay how it works actually when i apply dfs on this start from d so it will visit d then it doesn't have any unvisited adjacent node so it will stop the execution so visited set will get only d so next it will check this condition for i in list of graph all the elements are present in the graph actually no so that's why it will print weakly connected graph here only it will print this message and it will execute break statement so it will come out of the loop this is how this program works so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care